What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 78th Jailbreak Update episode and I hope you guys have been enjoying your iOS 12 Jailbreak. I hope you've been enjoying all of the new and updated tweaks coming out lately. It's been a lot of awesome stuff happening in the Jailbreak community. It's just really great to see it so alive and well. But anyways, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the latest developments, the latest updates with the Uncovered Jailbreak. We're gonna talk about A12 support, so your iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR. We're also gonna be talking about a possible iOS 12.1 Point three jailbreak and more. All right, so let's kick things off with the uncovered jailbreak that we've all been using and loving. So we're currently on beta 46 at the time of recording this video. It just got released yesterday, but the big update with uncover came with beta 44, which was released a couple days ago. And the reason this update was so important is because it included partial support for A12 and A12X devices. So you can see here on the GitHub page, the change log, it says enable partial iOS 12 through 12.1.2 support for A12 through A12X devices. And then in parentheses, you can see why this is a partial jailbreak, because these are the things that you get with a partial jailbreak. So you can export, unexport kernel task port, set the HSP4 as TFP0, dump AP ticket, overwrite boot nonce, log slide, log ECID, disable auto updates, remount root FS, disable app revokes, restore root FS. So obviously the big things in there are disable auto updates and disable app revokes. It is also nice that you can restore the root file system if you needed to. So yes, if you do have an iPhone 10 a 10s max a 10r or a 2018 ipad pro you can go ahead and jailbreak partially using beta 46 or actually technically 44 but you should go ahead and go to 46 now but again, you're not gonna have Cydia. This is not gonna include Cydia. The main reason you're gonna wanna jailbreak now is to disable app revokes and also to disable auto updates. So if you don't wanna get you know, accidentally updated to the latest version of iOS overnight when your phone's plugged in or anything like that, definitely go ahead and jailbreak so you don't miss out on you know, your opportunity to jailbreak your device. And again, it's very simple to update, uncover. All you have to do is delete the application off your device and then just re-sideload it using Cydia Impactor or just using a no computer method using something like ignition.fun or tweakbox or jailbreaks.fun, any of those websites where you can download it via a third party profile, go ahead and do that. That's just the simplest way these days. So yeah, if we look back at the change log and we take a look at beta 46, let's see what's changed in beta 46. And this was actually just released yesterday and it includes some nice stability fixes. So you can see here, it says improve assertion, prevent device from sleeping while app is active, internally disable the disable app revoke switch and revert its changes if it was used before to prevent major instability issues that caused issues with loading tweaks on iOS 12. Update the APT list cache file for repository. And if you were wondering what Pwn was referring to when he said internally disable the disable app revoke switch, he tweeted this out right before publishing the beta 46 update for Uncover. So it seems like Apple saw what I was doing to disable revokes with Uncover on iOS 11 and semi patched the method on iOS 12. The method still works, yet it causes instability and in issues such as respring loops with reload system daemons. So yeah, Apple was trying to shut down what Pwn to Own and the Uncover team are doing with app revokes, so he found a worker around and fixed it with beta 46. And not only does beta 46 fix this issue, but also makes the whole system run faster, according to Pwn. You can see here in this tweet, he mentions how the whole system runs noticeably faster after beta 46. So yeah, if you have not updated to beta 46 of Uncover yet, definitely go ahead and get there unless of course you are having no issues at all. If you're having a flawless experience on your current version, there's no need to update because it could introduce new issues. But if you're having any issues, definitely update Uncover to beta 46. You will apparently notice some stability improvements. Now, speaking of betas, Apple finally stopped signing iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 for all devices after what seems like forever. You guys had so much time to get to 12.1.1 beta 3 if you needed to. There's really no excuse not to be on iOS 12 through 12.1.2 at this point in time. So now let's shift our focus over to iOS 12.1.3 and the potential for a jailbreak in the future. So just a couple of days ago, ZecOps published a POC and a write-up on a vulnerability that was patched in iOS 12.1.4. And you can see here the opening paragraph from the write-up says, iOS 12.1.4 is the latest version of iOS that was released on February 8th. This version patched four disclosed vulnerabilities on iOS. According to the tweet by Ben Hawks from Project Zero, at least two of them were exploited in the wild as zero days. And at the end, they have a TLDR, too long didn't read section. And the last bullet point is the most interesting one here. You can see it says the vulnerability could be used to escalate escalate privileges to root as part of the chain for jailbreak on iOS 12.1.3. So that is some very exciting news to see there because we didn't really have anything released for iOS 12.1.3 at all 
before this. But at least now we have a vulnerability and a POC, a proof of concept write up on this bug. So even though this bug in itself is not enough for a full jailbreak, it could definitely help aid in a full jailbreak later on down the road. Of course, we are still in the early stages of even talking about a 12.1.3 jailbreak. So I wouldn't expect a 12.1.3 jailbreak anytime soon. But if you're not on iOS 12 through 12.1.2, if you're on something like iOS 12.1.4 or the 12.2 betas, definitely downgrade back to iOS 12.1.3 if you wanna have at least the potential to jailbreak later on down the road. Because as of right now, there's never gonna be a jailbreak for iOS 12.1.4. And now let's move on to a very common Cydia Impactor error that I've been getting messaged about a ton over the past couple of days. So you can see here, a lot of people have been getting this error right here. It's error 42 in Cydia Impactor. And Sam Binger actually explained what the issue is on Twitter, saying here, FYI, there seems to be an Apple bug that is making it not include the required entitlements entry in the new mobile provision files. This is breaking both Xcode for new profiles and Impactor installs. So yeah, you can see from that tweet that it is in fact an Apple bug. So this isn't something that's gonna be able to be fixed by you or Pwn to Own or probably not even Soric. It has to do with Apple themselves. I mean, Soric may be able to you know, do something to fix this, but it looks like it's an issue with Apple at the moment. So there's no workaround for this other than, you know, if you're trying to sideload something with Impactor, just do it via a third party app store like Ignition or Tweakbox or anything like that. That's really the only solution I can give you right now. This does also affect reprovision in some cases. And you know, keep in mind that some people aren't getting this issue at all. So it's hit or miss. I have had a lot of people tell me that they are having it though. So just be aware that's nothing that can be fixed right now. You just need to go ahead and download whatever you're trying to download on your device from a different website. Of course, you'll only need to do that until this is fixed. I can't imagine it's going to take too long and you'll be able to use Impactor again once it is fixed. And then lastly, I did want to let you guys know that Spring Tomize 4 is coming for iOS 12. You can see that the developer tweeted out a screenshot from his computer and the file in this screenshot is titled Spring Tomize 4. So yeah, this is easily one of my favorite tweaks of all time. So I cannot wait for this to be released. I will easily pay $5 if I need to just to get this tweak on my device. Everybody is going to love Spring Tomize when it comes out. Even if you're new to jailbreaking, you're gonna find out why everybody loves Spring Tomize with time. And speaking of awesome tweaks, I will have a new Top Tweaks episode coming next week. I know I released episode one. I did really well here on the channel. You guys seem to love them as expected. So I will have a new episode coming next week. Definitely subscribe and be on the lookout for that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We do have partial support for A12 devices on the iOS 12 jailbreak with full support coming soon. We have a new vulnerability and a possible jailbreak for iOS 12.1.3 coming in the future. We had a major update to uncover to improve stability for your devices with beta 46. And we now know that Spring Tomize 4 is coming to iOS 12. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Of course, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest jailbreak news and top tweaks videos, all that fun stuff related to jailbreaking your device. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.